Hello my friends, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you my 10 favorite sort of body makeup sort of self-care items in the drugstore. All of these items are available in the Canadian drugstore, which means if it's available in Canada, I'm sure that you guys can find it in the States. So anyways, if you're my channel, hello, welcome here at Classy on the Run. We love talking about all things beautiful. Beautiful makeup, beautiful handbag, beautiful places to travel when not a global pandemic. And today we are talking about different lotions and potions that you put on yourself to make yourself look good and feel good. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So when I was narrowing down my list for my top 10 items, I thought, should I be fair about categories? And I was like, no. I thought I could get my to my 10 number maybe a little quicker if I included things like batteries, milk, eggs, hamburger buns. Um, Cause some of those are, those are some of my favorite things about the drugstore for being honest. Cause at the Canadian, uh, one of the big Canadian drugstores is shop for Drug Mart and you get amazing points, which is how I bought my Dyson Airwrap and you can get really good points even just on buying groceries there. But then I thought you guys didn't want to hear me tell you about how I buy my eggs at the drugstore sometimes. So, this is a beauty channel. Who am I kidding? So uh, let's get started. So the first item I wanted to share with you was originally sent to me in PR. And then they bought it again. And then I bought it again. And then I told my friends to buy it and they bought it again. And that is the L'Oreal 8 second wonder water now apparently this is based on opalex product i don't know i don't really use opalex but uh you can use you basically use this in the shower in place of a conditioner it has it's it's basically a water but it's like magical and um i ended up using there's like a little measurer on the back i use two shots because um because that and i just coat my hair root to tip really focusing on the tips and like once I rinse that out, my hair is so soft and silky and like frizz free. It is honestly, this is like a salon quality product. You can get in the drugstore, it's like 12 bucks Canadian. Um, you just apply it directly to wet hair, you massage it for eight seconds and then you rinse out. It's so easy, it's so quick and it is quite literally magic. So this right now I'd say is my number one item at the drugstore. Now most of this list isn't a ranking video, but there are kind of two items that deserve more than just a shout out. Like they did. Anyways, next up, we have a product that uh, was also sent to me in PR and I was a little bit skeptical. I'm not really a drugstore skin person, uh, but this Olay Regenerist Retinol 24 Night Serum, also quite literally magical. I've been using, so it says use in the evening massage serum over face and neck. Um, I have been using this daily since I got it and I just, I put it like after I take off my makeup, I put it on my face and then I just put a night cream on top of it and like it's actually changed my skin. Like I've always been very fortunate to have good skin, but my skin just looks like clear, clearer, healthier. It just glows. Like it, honestly, I would totally repurchase this product. I have not found a night serum that's as magical as this it has like a big dropper and it's just like a white cream but this is like the most magical night serum i found and i was not expecting to find it in the drugstore it's about i think last i checked it's like 40 bucks but a night serum at somewhere like a sephora is like 80 bucks so it's expensive but not at the same time Anyways, if you're from Canada, like buy this on 20 times the points today. When this is all done, like I'm I'm buying it again. Um, next up, I wanted to talk about the Revlon makeup brushes. Now this is the blush brush. I love it. I actually used it today. If you like this look, it is in my NARS orgasm collection video. Um, and I like that it's like, it's not, I find when a brush is too soft for the face, it doesn't really pick up and hold product. And this one has a nice, a nice bit of coarseness and a nice bit of texture to it that really just it like it grips the powder and it just like glides it across your face and it really buffs it in and anyways I love this whole Revlon brush collection I think it can be sometimes hard to find um, affordable brushes at a drugstore price point and if you're starting out I couldn't recommend this Revlon line enough 
So next we are going to talk about sunscreen because it is still summer. And this is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate. It comes in SPF 60 and SPF 30 and it uh, has eight hour hydration and 80 minute water resistance. Now, most, I don't normally like cream sunscreens. I usually prefer the aerosol spray. However, this one doesn't have that awful gritty sunscreeny feeling that just gets into your fingers and doesn't feel nice at all. It honestly feels like you're applying a slightly sunscreeny scented body lotion. It feels hydrating on the skin. It feels good. It doesn't have that weird powdery finish. Um, and the water resistance thing is real. Like I've been at sea doing all summer. I've been swimming, canoeing, I've been on the water. And have I gotten sunburned sometimes? Yes, but like that's user error on my part. Overwhelmingly when I use this, I get less sunburns when I'm in and out of the water or around the water than I usually do. Um, and just obviously being this pale, it's kind of, it comes with the territory. But yeah, this Aveeno line, I really like it. It's also available at Costco in a three pack. So another product I just love is this Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. It's one of those dual ones that you shake it up and it just melts the makeup off your face. Um, I like, obviously I need makeup remover. I use makeup remover a lot. I also love my Bioderma, but this is just so great when you've got more eye makeup on kind of like I do today. It just melts the product off. It works really well. It's often on sale and I just have a hard time justifying paying for like expensive makeup remover, you know? Like Bioderma, like I definitely buy Bioderma because like I never, I always just buy um, the big bottles like this one's 20 bucks and it takes forever to finish one of these up. But this is magical. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is mascara. And when I was in high school, the drugstore sucked. Like the products were actually trash. Um, but over the last number of years, they've really, really upped their game to the point that I told myself I was only, only going to include one mascara and I have three. So I'm going to start off with this Catrice Pret a Volume Mascara. This is relatively new to me. Um, I first used it when I was prepping for my full face of Catrice Cosmetics video. And this just gives, first of all, it's in deep black, false lash mascara. It just really gives a nice, fulsome, voluminous like fluttery, just beautiful look. Lasts all day, no flaking. I would totally buy this again. Um, this is stunning. Um, another drugstore mascara, this is one of my backups. I'm just, I'm almost done um, the one I already have open, so I don't want to open this one up. But this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Uh, bought this one with my own money. Again, was originally scented in PR, fell in love and have repurchased many times. Uh, this one is, People say it's a dupe for better than sex, but it's actually just straight up better. Like it's less flaky, it's more voluminous. Again, beautiful, beautiful mascara. And then we've got another mascara that was originally sent to me in PR that I've also purchased again. Noticing a trend here? This is the Maybelline New York Total Temptation Mascara. This one's a little bit more of an everyday mascara. It's not as voluminous and like full as the other two I talked about. Um, this one is just, it's a really beautiful sort of wide-eyed everyday look. Really, really pretty. I love this it's just as an everyday work-friendly mascara. And the last product is again from Catrice and this is their Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. Works as a primer, works as a setting spray. Uh, feels comfortable on the skin and like it keeps makeup on. And the last product I wanted to feature is again by Catrice. They're, they're kind of a new to me brand so maybe I'm just going through a bit of an obsession phase, but like, their makeup is amazing. And that is their Power Plumping Gel Lipstick. This is the 090, it's a beautiful red. Um, I've also got them in nude and like, they just feel like a high-end lipstick. They feel good, they look good on the lips and they're like 10 bucks. Hey guys, so I'm adding one more, excuse the camera setup. Uh, this is filmed on my iPhone, on my TikTok stand, I flipped it this way. Um, Anyways, I was going through editing this and I can't believe that I forgot one of my absolute favorite drugstore products right now and that is these incredible Maybelline lip glosses. I actually have one more that's in my purse, but oh, they're so pretty. I've got Topaz, Stone, Moon, 
and in my purse I have Reef. So let's put on Stone. So I'm wearing a little bit of a lipstick. First of all, you've got a super big, like, well. I love layering these on top of lipsticks, but they also look great on their own. And like the minute I did this, it's like the inside of my mouth filled with cupcake flavor. So it's sort of like a dupe for the Rihanna um, yeah, Fenty gloss bombs. And it's just got that big, comfortable doe foot. Feels great on the lips, strong vanilla flavor, which I love. Like average wear time for lip gloss, which like isn't great, but it's like good. And just beautiful neutral wearable colors. I love them. If I can close it. There we go. Doesn't want to close. Let's try that again. There we go. Anyways, I'm obsessed with these and these are definitely a drugstore favorite. I can't believe I didn't include them. So anyway, so that is the 10 items from the drugstore available in Canada that are just really standing out to me right now. Um, I'm not saying that this list never grows or changes, but these are the 10 um, and really inspired by just a couple that I spoke about earlier on that really have knocked my socks off lately. But I wanted to share with you just some drugstore favorites, some products I'm loving right now. Let me know what you think of this video if you'd like to see another one in like six months. I feel like lists like this, they can sort of grow and evolve and change as new products are released or you rediscover your needs change. But at this moment in this snapshot in time, these are the 10 drugstore products that I am super impressed by. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.